Got a pod of hippo and a biting wind that doesn't seem to be warming up much, so we're not going to be here for long. There they are, the hippopotamus choosing the couth of the water over the frigid nature of the air outside. And so let's spend a little bit of time with them. It's very nice having a reliable pod of hippos to look at every day. No, it is not normal at all, Paul. You say, what is the temperature? I keep saying it's cold. It's supposed to be about 63 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 degrees Celsius, but with this wind it's probably pushing closer to sort of 14 or 12, I guess, Celsius, which is, um, well, I guess around about 65 odd which is pretty chilly out here and it's not usual Paul you say it was 90 degrees the other day well it was upward of 90 degrees the other day and you say is it normal for it to get this cold absolutely not it's very unusual in fact I cannot remember a time in my well countless years out here in the low felt that I have experienced temperatures like this in mid-January it really is bizarre And then there are the geese, David. They're all about to make a foray across the green, greasy part of this waterhole. The place where the crocodiles like to lurk. I suspect the crocs are probably out the water. I haven't even looked about for them. Samantha, I'm afraid I've got no idea. You say, how many baby hippos are there? Um, it's almost impossible to tell because I don't know the full extent of this pod. So if we count all of those ones there, let's try and count them from the right-hand side. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, fifteen or so lying there. But all around the corner and over the top of the island that we've parked behind, there is another pod. And I think, I mean, this could be just a group of young bulls, actually. Doesn't look like there are any real youngsters there. So there are lots of hippo here, and apparently up to 30 sometimes, or at least up to 40 at some times. But nothing is coming down to drink here. And David, absolutely, they do. Much like a whale, you say, do the hippos have a layer of fat to keep them warm? I don't know if you've ever seen a hippopotamus out of the water, David. But they are covered in blubber, much as a whale would be. Otherwise, they would get very cold indeed. So they have a blubberous sort of appearance. They look like big fatties, really. They're obviously very fast, though, and they have to put on that kind of fat for precisely days like this to try and stay warm. Now, what I want to do, David, and this is not David who's asked us a question, this is David the cameraman, there's some Egyptian goo 